Have you ever seen those videos that say they can boost your FPS from 60 to 144, then thought to yourself, hmm, this can't be true, especially not from a one minute video. But what if I told you that these videos are actually not lying? Kind of. On August 2nd, 2024, I decided to see what would happen if I actually followed these guides. And against all odds, somehow I ended up hitting 1000 frames per second. But since then, Fortnite came out with several updates impacting performance. Some good, but mostly bad. And my FPS did the one thing Playboy Cardi hasn't been able to do since 2020. It dropped. And I'm not the only one with this problem. It's been happening to everyone for the past several years. So guess what? We're doing it again. Back to trusting random people on the internet with my thousand dollar computer's life. Last time, I walked away with insane FPS. This time, I still hit 1000, but I also picked up a few viruses along the way. Now you might be wondering, what's the point of getting a thousand FPS? Do you need it? Nah. But do you want it? Absolutely. 1000 FPS is like a million dollars. You don't need it, but it would be pretty cool to have. Before we start, let's set some ground rules. I can only use tweaks from YouTube, and while I can use any free software linked in their descriptions, paid utilities and overclocking are off limits. And our end goal is to consistently hit 1000 FPS on Fortnite's in-game FPS counter. Fortnite has become way harder to run, so FPS won't stay above 1200 like it did a few seasons ago, but as long as we consistently peak at 1000, it counts. And finally, for my custom FPS overlay, I'm aiming for a 100 FPS increase from 840 to 940, because the goal is already very unrealistic as is. With that out of the way, we have a lot to do today, so it's time to find our first YouTube expert. Let's start with Ripex, the best PC optimizer on YouTube. He has never been exposed for malware, doesn't have sketchy ads on his website, doesn't promote buying Fortnite accounts, which totally won't get you banned, and definitely doesn't have any close ties with scammers. Jokes aside, there has to be at least one thing on this channel that can help me inch my way towards 1000 FPS. I mean, there are some real people watching this content, so I'm sure there's something useful in here. So I'm gonna follow his newest 2025 optimization guide as closely as possible. Here are the results I obtained after applying these settings on my PC. Yeah, I don't know why I was surprised by the AI voice. If he's allegedly scamming, he obviously shouldn't be using his real voice, right? Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus free. Completely virus free. I don't think so. As I was about to download his tweaks, his website only proved himself wrong. The second I clicked his link, it forced me to allow notifications or it straight up kicked me out. And by allowing these notifications, I've just opened the floodgates to every scam imaginable. Fake virus warnings trying to scare you into downloading and buying antiviruses, fake giveaways that almost had me fooled because I'm with Virgin Mobile right now, and worst of all, an actual virus download disguised as his tweak pack. This is what trying to download his tweak pack actually looks like, and this is the fake ad that's pretending to be his pack, which likely isn't safe in the first place. At this point, I haven't even touched his optimizations and my PC is already fighting for its life. Since this guy is allegedly a goofball, I'm obviously not gonna download his pack, so I'm gonna try my best to copy what he's doing. The only problem is that his file names are not very descriptive, so I'm gonna have to do my best to guess what each one does. But wait a second, if I'm refusing to download his pack, how did I still get hacked? Well, someone that I never expected to be a fraud still managed to get through, but we'll get to that later. Yo, why is Disable Game DVR2 just 202 kilobytes and then the rest of them are one or five? That's a little bit suspicious. I actually have Game DVR disabled already. I don't know what Disable Game DVR2 could possibly be. Maybe he's disabling my whole PC, who knows? And then wake up course. Fortunately, the next step of the video is a lot easier to follow because I can just download Ultimate Windows Tweaker 4.8 off the official website instead of his scam site, so I can copy him without getting ratted. Okay, this is this is actually valid stuff. You know, even though this guy's, you know, a world-renowned scammer and maybe the biggest scammer of all time, I'm not sure why he wouldn't recommend disabling more things here, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to follow exactly what he's doing. The filter key setter to enhance your keyboard. All right, this one is literally just placebo. The thing that filter key setter does is take a look at this. Boom. You see how it takes a, a split second there for it to start repeating letters? Filter keys basically just makes this faster. 99% of video games take in raw input. It doesn't matter how fast you can repeat a letter. That was it. Finally, that was the longest 15, 20 minutes of my life. It is now 5.07 PM. After replicating Ripex's tweaks in a safe way without touching his shady downloads, we dropped frames. However, this is because we were limiting ourselves using the high performance power plan that he provided. By switching it back to ultimate performance, we saw a much bigger jump, now peaking at 875 FPS. 
about 30 more than we started with. Now this isn't me saying his stuff is safe, because I very clearly showed that it isn't. But there are definitely some useful tweaks in there if you know what to look out for. And for our second goal of the challenge, we were still way under 1000 FPS, so let's see if the next expert can get us there. Now for this part of the video, we're not just going to look at one expert, we're actually going to look at four different videos from four different people about how to optimize your PC in 60 seconds to see which one does the best. I mean, I'm not really expecting very much at all, but this video has 417,000 views, 37,000 likes as well. With such good reception from the community, you would expect this to work really well, but it was quite the opposite. Far type in adjust. Best performance, apply, okay. If you look at this right now, ooh, that looks nice. But once you put it on adjust for best performance and apply that, ooh, what is this? Oh, we're definitely going to change that back because it's not gonna do anything. And just as I thought this guide was gonna be good, he hit me with the disc cleanup, including DirectX shader cache, which I know is gonna tank our FPS. Clearing the DirectX shader cache deletes pre-compiled shaders, forcing the GPU to recompile them from scratch. This causes stuttering and FPS drops until the cache is rebuilt through gameplay. You should only ever clear that out if you're having issues, but he said to select it all and press OK, so you know I had to do it anyways. The rest of this minute was mostly basic tweaks like disabling hardware acceleration and maxing out my monitor's refresh rate, but at least he reminded me to turn on game mode. And that's not even the worst part because he recommends resetting NVIDIA settings. That might be the stupidest shit I've heard all day, because if you actually take the 3 minutes to fix your NVIDIA control panel, you can get between 2 and 10% better performance, depending on your GPU. Good thing I'm not currently using an NVIDIA card, because otherwise this video was gonna cook my frame rate. Regardless, this video ended up setting us back to 840 FPS. I had to load into a few matches of Fortnite before the shaders recompiled, and that resulted in slightly better FPS, likely because of game mode. For our first optimization video on a channel that primarily focuses on the Legend of Zelda games, I think the video was okay but definitely needs some work. After losing half my progress in just one minute, I was ready to quit these one minute guides and go back to the full ones. And this next one minute guide wasn't helping my case either. It was a lot of basic stuff but nothing in here was bad, but as you could expect, debloating an already debloated PC and emptying my recycle bin is not going to affect my FPS still peaking between 870 and 880, meaning that we are still 60 FPS away from our end goal. But hey, at least this guy didn't hurt my performance. With a long journey ahead still, it's time to test another 1 minute guide. Unlike the past two guides, Rip Tweaks has his own batch file which makes a lot of sense for a 1 minute tutorial, and finishes it up with some Windows tweaks. So on paper, it should help us the most out of all these short videos. But before I show you the results, we need to fast forward a day into the future, because I just got a critical security warning for three different accounts. Now the only thing I actually downloaded in this video was Rip Tweaks batch file. And of course, I did it on Google Chrome, where I just so happened to be logged into all three accounts. Now this is not me saying that Rip ratted me, in fact, I actually highly doubt it was him. So if it wasn't him, then who put a virus on my PC? When I ran a Malwarebyte scan, I only found some PUPs or potentially unwanted programs unrelated to Rip Tweaks. However, when I ran a virus total scan on his batch file, it flagged as a potentially unwanted application, called EXM Tweaks. If you don't know, EXM Tweaks is a well-known tweaking tool in the community, and people often steal and reskin it. So based on this flag, it's very likely that Rip Tweaks only repackaged EXM's work rather than adding anything malicious. Stealing EXM's work is, for some reason, a very common tactic that a lot of people use to try and get their brand going. I'm surprised it took me until now to notice the similarities between the two. Other than that, the scan found zero actual virus detection, so again, I don't think it was Rip who hacked my PC. Still, I wasn't taking any chances. I changed all my passwords immediately, but when I checked my PC warnings, I noticed something strange. On one account, someone had been trying to lock me out since January 22nd, and sure enough, I was attacked around that time by someone in India. But let's be honest, they probably wouldn't wait almost a month after failing the first time to try again. On my other two accounts, despite no location being tied to the security alert, it claimed my account was accessed through my motherboard. I have no idea how that's even possible since my event viewer shows my PC was inactive from 1.30am until 11am. This whole situation is just weird because the attacks weren't even at the same time. I think it's just an unlucky coincidence that my accounts were compromised the day after I finished this challenge. But enough about that, Rip Tweaks boosted us 30 FPS in just one minute, pushing our FPS to over 910. 
absolutely insane results for a one minute video. Not that I didn't expect it because it's literally just EXM tweaks except repackaged. I don't care though, it was the best one minute optimization so far and it's not close. Finally, to wrap up the one minute guides, we have Fetch. He has a business email and more subscribers than me, so he definitely fits the professional YouTuber description. His advice was solid, though he oversimplified the NVIDIA control panel settings, and I'd already done everything he suggested, except my optimizations for windowed game setting was off for some reason. But we finally did it. I did have to make my FPS counter refresh faster because it kept missing every time we hit 940, but we actually got up to 945 and were consistently hitting 1000 FPS on the in-game frame counter. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want to see me put a $1,500 graphics card in a $32 PC, watch this video next.